Where do you want to start? I guess in the beginning somewhere. It's a crazy story. Mm, crazy. What was the story? Ooh. Kings are nuts, man. They're like half out there, power hungry. It's a bizarre story. The king throws a friend into a den of hungry lions for disobeying, and the man lives. I it's not every day that a man is thrown to a bunch of lions as food, and he survives. So, I'm sure y'all got a story to tell. The king's, the king's advisor set up Daniel and wanted him gone, wanted him but gone. they knew they, they could not find any wrong. Theory. And then, they convinced the king to create a rule knowing it would trap Daniel. Daniel stayed true to his god and refused to buckle. Sadly, the king had to stick to his new rule, and so he had to throw Daniel into the den of hungry lions. Can you state your name for the camera? Joe Zergzada. The people around here just call me Tiger King. I am the owner of the Greater Babylonian Exotic Animal Den. Now, you're part of the craziest animal story ever told. Yeah, it all started with King Darius asking me to care for his den of lions. I looked after the lions and tigers. He used to punish those who did not follow his commands. So, tell us about the day that Daniel was brought to you. Apparently this Daniel guy was praying to his God. He got in trouble for it because of the king's new law. And as the punishment, he was fed to the lions. Now, up to this point, how were the lions? Well, they're lions. They were hungry, of course. They had not eaten in a long time. I thought if, if I threw them in there, they would devour Daniel the moment that he was thrown in. So, what happened? Well, we threw him in, sealed the entrance, big old rock, and then we left for the night. You know, he was miserable. He didn't sleep at all that night because he was so worried about Daniel. And in fact, at the crack of dawn, he went out to see if Daniel was still alive and okay. Craziest thing I ever saw. He was alive. He was praying to his God, saying the angels had shut the lion's mouth. There was not a scratch on him. And that's when King Darius threw in his advisors, the ones who tricked him into making that law. They was gone before they hit the floor of the den. Living in some messed up times, man, you should hear about my great grandpa who was swollen up by a giant fish. 